An often overlooked gem in the patchwork of habitats in the New Forest National Park is its coastline. There's lots of it and much of it is protected for its wildlife. There's variety here too. Salt marsh, lagoon, mud flats, shingle beaches, all of it hosting a wealth of wildlife, especially birds. These coastal mud flats and shingle beaches are a vital refueling post for tens of thousands of migrating waders. That includes godwits, snipe, and increasingly common along this coastline, a bird that was once extremely rare in the British Isles, the avocet. And where there are large concentrations of wading birds, you stand a very good chance of seeing their nemesis, a peregrine falcon. Perhaps the greatest natural spectacle to define the New Forest coastline is the great flocks of Brent geese that winter here from their Siberian breeding grounds. They come in their thousands to feed on the eelgrass beds. Small geese, about the size of a mallard duck, but en masse, a sight and sound to behold. For every creature you see above the waves, there are thousands more beneath them. Perhaps the best way to reveal this fantastic concentration of life is to do a spot of rock pooling at low tide. Here at Leap Beach, one uh, opportunity arises on the low spring tides when you see these pools trapped in the beach. Looking down into this water, I can already see things moving. Amazing. Little fish, blennies, I think. Crabs, little shrimps. So much, just in one scoop. As always, take care in this dynamic and ever-changing habitat and make a note of the tide times to prevent being cut off from the mainland if you're out on a low water adventure. The New Forest National Park continues to surprise and delight the more you spend time here. Whether you just want to potter on the beach with the kids or do some serious wildlife watching, there's room for everyone and everything in this most spectacular of settings.